Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles, to The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4. I realize I am very, very behind on this, so we're going to catch this all up in the next two weeks with the last two episodes. The Walking Dead. You're not gonna die, Missy. Let me chop off your limb and you'll be okay. Oh, God. Serena! Oh, shit. She's, She's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on. We have to move. We have to. <laughs> one limb off. One limb down. To the next one. Oh, I'm just gonna dodge Going it. After Sarah. Why don't any of these zombies actually eat themselves? Like, eat other zombies? Is it because they don't have any actual blood in them? Or they're not human flesh? Ooh. Now, this game is one of the few games that I actually like playing that it requires you to do button mashing and it's actually not super annoying. You got this, Clementine. You got this. Let's keep going. Luke. Oh. Why does this woman have to survive? I remember I don't like this woman. She was so bitchy at the first start of the game. Luke was with me. I can't do this alone. You can't stay here with me. Let me guess, she's probably gonna have her baby as she's running, and the baby's gonna pop out and like roll around on the ground, and then the zombies are gonna eat her. Now that would be a very, very morbid. Wait, what am I doing? Well, that was unexpected. I'm not sure. What was I supposed to be? Oh, I was supposed to be moving. That's what I was supposed to be doing. I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? Luke was with me, but we can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. Look, the walkers are still moving toward the hard rest. We can make it out if we stick to. Oh no, now she's gonna go through labor. You know what would be really morbid is if she's running with me and all of a sudden her baby pops out and then the zombies eat the baby. And then she gets eaten too. I mean, this game has no problem killing off characters, so I wouldn't be surprised. But babies just can't pop out anyway, so. I like this Jane girl. She's actually smart. You guys are fine. Just go. You think we should spread out? We'll spread out. I can't run with the baby. Oh my oh no. I said walk slow. You run, you die. Through 
that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just I need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Behind, I can't come back for you. Come on, pregnant lady, you can do this. As skeptical as I don't want you to survive. Why am I go why am I stopping? My character's going so slow. Come on, keep going, lady. Come on, Clemmy. Episode 4, Amid, Amid, the, I didn't actually even read the title fast enough, Amid something. Would this be the appropriate time to make a dead baby joke? Probably not. We need to keep going. I mean, we're almost there, right? I hope so. It's getting so damn cold. Wish I could stop, but I can't. Not until we're with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Well, at least she's been a Jeez. realist. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. And it's not even I her baby. Incident, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but... That Jane girl almost sounds like Miley patient. Cyrus. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. Here we go. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, Alvin was ten. Alvin to be here for this. Fifty more seconds, is lady. Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point, then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with uh, what? Here we go. My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. Shut the fuck you up. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. 
No, Just you're capable you're enough not to do jack shit. Doesn't care about anyone but herself. Doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were. She died. I don't need your pity. You don't. You don't have the right. Jane. Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Damn it. Maybe if you think before you speak, dumb idiot. Ugh. This game has a tendency to bring in characters that I want to fucking to die. Like, I just can't fucking stand you them. can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can... Figure out a plan. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Kennedy. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I hate to say it. Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take Why care of her? Why didn't they just Jane, chop off her arm? I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. But it's the one that's gotta be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. This isn't the first time Kenny's seen someone get bit. How did it go last time? It was really bad. After that, Kenny was different. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here. Maybe you could go talk to him. Okay. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. We need your help. To figure out Grow a plan. The fuck up and look around you, Clementine. Take a look at how our last plan worked out. There ain't some boat or some train or some other bullshit out of this one. Don't you think you've already done enough for today? Uh, 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 uh. I tried to save look her. At her. Said, look at her. She is going to die because of you. Uh, 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 you think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back that man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. 
Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Jane's my new favorite character, and rightfully so. She seems like a badass. She knows exactly what she's doing in all situations. She has an answer. Look, I'm gonna level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. I agree with you, and Jane. Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Whoa, you really were mean. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Yeah, we should check him out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hmm. 
magnum rounds. Hold on to him. Emil's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Oh, yay, she's dead. Sarah's. Or looks like not. your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. We have to tell the others. Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Look, we're gonna go do this, but it might not turn out the way you want it to. Are you prepared for what you might find in there? I think I am. Yes. I hope so. They might not be dead, but that might be worse. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. Back of the this. neck. You go right in the back of the neck and it hits the spinal cord, they're dead instantly. No stopping it. Calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. <laughs> How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other? Go for it. <laughs> Ooh, in the shoulder blade. In the neck or under the chin. Nice this, work. I can't tell if that's you know a yeah, doing. that's a screwdriver. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Take out the knees first. Then okay. put a knife in the back of its head Calm when it's down. down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. We are gonna die in here! Trick, huh? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I was really hoping this young girl would be dead because I find her That's so obnoxiously walkers. annoying. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. 
What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. We're gonna get up right. and go. What's going to grab their attention? I'm sure if you fart loud enough, it would work. Covered. Just hit the trash can. It's not too difficult. Break that glass. And I threw it on the ground. Oh, I guess that was not what they were gonna do. Why are you being like this? Damn it, don't do me. Wow, the horn That's didn't good, even like we need to keep it going somehow. I thought a horn would definitely be loud enough. Can't help you if you I can't help you if you don't. Sarah, what the hell? Whoever's with Sarah is getting really pissed off, I can tell that. What are you thinking? him on the horn it'll keep honking and draw the walkers just like moths to a flame give me a hand Gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. this hurry Sarah please who's out there Luke Clem oh thank God I can't believe he found us when I heard y'all banging through the door Luke are you all right I'm uh, I'm walking I can't do much else though Sarah she's another story I, I don't know what to do about her. Just kill her, throw her out to the fucking zombies. You gotta help. Sarah's a See, nuisance. Look, look, it's Clam. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Uh, I don't know what to do. Can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? Sleeve her. We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh, they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay, so we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... 
That's please give us the I'm option trying. to leave her. I want to leave this hours. stupid I woman. Barely get her to look at me. Clam. Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> We're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. On three. One, two, three! Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go! Go! Keep pushing! Go! Oh man, this is intense. Tense situation. And of course, the girl Sarah doesn't do anything to help us, so. Luke, you first. We need you up top. Okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Goodbye. Nothing we could do. There's, there's nothing we could do. Finally. Ah. Come on. Glad they gave me that chance. Best highlight of the episode. She finally died. Best highlight of the episode, let me tell you. <sighs> About Sarah, I, uh, I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. We didn't have a choice. She wouldn't have come with us. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. That's what happens when you have a father that coddles you the yeah, whole fucking life. I guess... I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then... something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. 
I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Did she get turned? Do you know? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way, too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah wasn't Jamie. She wanted to make it. She just couldn't. Then maybe she didn't really want it. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait. But I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. 
It's over now. <laughs> like hell. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Well, he didn't, and you're still alive, whether you like it or not. Oh, you're right. I guess I should be celebrating, huh? I'd throw a party, except my guest list is looking a little thin these days. There are people out there who are scared, who don't know what to do. You could be helping them, but instead you're just sitting in a dark tent, feeling sorry for yourself. Sorry for myself? The hell do you know, Clementine? I had to shoot Lee. So don't be an asshole and pretend you're the only one who's lost people. I don't need to hear this shit. I can't even look at you right now. Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Jane can teach me a few things. How to be a mature, responsible adult. And how to kick ass at the same time. And chew bubblegum. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. 
And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Can walkers actually walk up steps like that? I don't know. I think that would be a good... Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or lots of walkers inside there. Hmm. Maybe but I doubt I that. Can pick the lock. Because again, the walkers can't walk upstairs. Is not overrated. <laughs> I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna be seeing uh, Ninja Turtles you tonight, know, so I'll be having uh, up the review tomorrow. Wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. The Civil War of 1863. I guess it's broken. Think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. We can't lead him to the others, but we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. He has a splint on his leg. Maybe he's gonna unlock the unlock the door. Shit. Подожди, подожди. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes.
I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Huh? Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make... Anything? Oxycontin. Yeah. Oh. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's now this is a kind pain. of a hard decision. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. <laughs> Clementine, yes, you must believe You don't believe, believe a me. fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bosha. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? I'm worried. He might be dangerous. Well, I, uh... Glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. 
Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I didn't mean... I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen. The fact that I didn't take his medicine. I almost wanted to take his medicine simply because I hate playing wrong? with Russians Nothing's in Dota wrong. 2 and they usually Babies always ruin my experience, so. I almost killed him, but I was. Same time. What'd you find? He had a splint on his leg, so. See, I do Someone show a little bit of mercy. Safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Giving himself up to Carver like that. It was to try to keep you and the baby safe. Yeah. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin was never scared. He would have done anything to save you and the baby. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Haha, uh -huh, no. Uh, oh shit. I'm not gonna watch your baby. This. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. And I'm not saying I don't trust him. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? I know Jane seems like she doesn't care about anyone, but I trust her. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also, really loud. Good point. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Do you want it? That's real sweet of you, Clem, but you should probably hang on to it for Rebecca. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You've got a lot to make up for. Yeah, that's true. Clem found a jacket. 
that's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Oh, come on, that's stupid. Racism in regards to a fucking coat. You're not going to wear something that keep you warm because of the history of this. Ugh. Jesus Christ. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? No, oh, you don't know you what the hell you're this talking place. about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with... Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Oh, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a zombie. <gasps> That happened. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. But you're tough for your size. Shit. You're tough for my size. I'm sorry I asked you. I won't do it again. I guess that makes one more thing I've got to make up for. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone. Especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm Ooh. starving. Fresh Bestiality 101. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! <laughs> oh! Oh! Shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. 
How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a few folks that could use a hot meal. It's probably for the better. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, let's do this, guys. Let's have, hopefully, get Rebecca killed. Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? The hell's Luke? Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, help Kenny. On it. About as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. J Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um, What's going on? Well, uh, I mean, in here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. Luke, shut up! I didn't... No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs! Here. Uh, we should... You I guess they help. can't walk Get upstairs. Never mind. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs! Shoot them before they get to us! I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. Look! That 
gotta work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Baby's dead. Wow, that's morbid. Morbid. No. Icky. Or no, never mind. It is alive. Clementine. Hey, how's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? Well, what are we going to do now? We can't stay here, can we? I've got to rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something, just not this second. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? No. I don't think I should. It's really okay. We're family. Yeah, that's okay. Thanks. What's matter, Clementine? You don't like babies? She doesn't have to hold him if she doesn't want to. Fair enough. Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Oh. Well, that's it then. You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'm not like them. No. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, and push comes to shove. Can... can I go with you? No, you can't. That's not how this works. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here.
Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Kenny, you know what, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane, she made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Jenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Ugh. <laughs> Just swipe the red. Swipe the red with your finger. And Kyle keeps calling. Did he call me again? Yeah. Ugh. Sorry about the phone ring, guys. Ooh, it's snowy. First time I've seen snow in this game. I would assume that if it was cold enough, uh, walkers would actually be frozen. Ugh. Or could easily freeze. You alright? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This look like someplace warm to you? We could still turn back. That's not an option. 
Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here. There's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kinda have been. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh, things for... bandages. I need bandages. Are you... hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. <laughs> Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Что... We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends <coughs> to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane? Where's the other woman? I do not see a woman who was with you. She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. If you put your guns down, we will too. Опусти оружие сейчас. Арва, что происходит здесь? The fuck is she saying? If I get excited, I will not let them touch that baby. You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, опусти оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now, or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said, don't move. They won't just umer yet. Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужик? Бурико, Бурико, остановись! Опусти оружие! Тебе не зачем остановиться! О, мой Бог, это... О, мой Бог, она... Она становится... Oh boy, these are all my choices. 28% players left. See, there are some people who didn't like Sarah. They left her to die too. I didn't. I guess I should have robbed that Arvo guy.